I get a lot of requests to test different additives and I'm pretty excited about testing Restore today. And I have the perfect engine. It's a 1974 Ford 5000 with a 4.2 liter diesel. This engine has low compression. I've already assessed the injection pump. It's a diesel, so um, anyway, the injection pump is clearly getting diesel to the engine and to the uh, combustion chamber. As I'm trying to fire up the engine, I'm seeing some white smoke and it smells like diesel, so it's unburned diesel. Unfortunately, the only way I can get this engine to start, even when it's 90 degrees outside, is one of two ways. The first is to use starting fluid, which is something I don't recommend in a diesel. And the second way is to literally use an engine preheater to heat the engine up to about 150 to 175 degrees Fahrenheit to get it to start. This does not make sense to me. This is an old tractor. I don't want to put a whole lot of money into it. And I'm just curious if this engine restore is up to the task, as it claims it guarantees to restore engine compression. So today we're going to find out once and for all if this product is as good as they say it is. According to the instructions, Restore is safe to use in a gasoline or diesel engine. Now on this can, there's a little asterisk right here, and if you go to the bottom of the can, it says not formulated for use in power stroke diesels. So if you're watching this video, please do not put this in your power stroke diesel. I did a lot of research, and in Ford Power Stroke, uh, diesels have a certain type of fuel injection pump and fuel injection system that is not compatible with Restore and this causes a no start condition in those engines. My compression kit that I have is, goes up to 300 pounds pressure, which is adequate. With that said, I don't have a way of using it unless I make my own compression fitting for this specific engine. So what I have in my left hand on, my, on your right is an old fuel injector I pulled out of this engine about a year ago. And what I'm going to do is hollow out the internals. I'm going to tap this end and then I'm going to be able to use this adapter to plug into this fuel injector. This will save me at least $100 from buying a compression gauge specifically designed for a diesel. And I only plan to need this uh, one time, but once I design this thing for this specific engine, I can always reuse it. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this fuel injector. And I've already loosened everything up just so I can efficiently uh, demonstrate what I'm trying to do here but I'm just going to disassemble this injector. I'm gonna take the internals out. This is not needed. All this is gonna do is create back pressure and give us a bad reading. And there is a hole already inside of this injector which allows fuel to pass through. So I'm just gonna put this end back on. I'm gonna tighten this up in a minute, but this mounts up against the cylinder head and there's a washer, a brass washer that goes between this fitting and the cylinder head to make sure we get a really tight seal. Inside here, we'll just go ahead and take these parts out, they're not needed. So what I need to do on this injector is I need to tap a hole in this, the same size as the compression gauge uh, hose, so I can just screw this directly in. Okay, we've got a low cylinder. This one's only at about 230 pounds pressure, and so clearly we've got a cylinder that's down. I'm just going to drain off about a pint of oil, because we're right on the full mark, and I'm not going to change the oil because I want to see what the uh, compression does with the same exact oil just by adding Restore. The instructions say to shake the can before adding it to the engine.
Well, I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed that Restore actually worked. When I was out using the tractor yesterday, it seemed to have more power, but I don't trust my own judgment when it comes to how things feel just because the placebo effect. And there's all kinds of other factors that could influence how the tractor seemingly performed. But when I did the compression test, it was very clear that it actually works. So are there additives that you've tested that improve compression? Are there other additives that you think are as good or better than Restore? On the shelf behind me, there are quite a bit of additives that I plan to test in the near future. So if you'd like to see me test those additives, you might consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed or selecting the bell to be notified when I publish videos. In closing, I just want to say I'm not sponsored by the manufacturer of Restore, Sea Foam, Marvel Mystery Oil, or any other manufacturer. Although I've had a couple of offers for sponsorship, I've turned those down. I really appreciate being able to be independent and be self-sponsored. It allows me to test products without the influence of any sort of company or manufacturer trying to persuade me to uh, provide more optimistic results than the, than the product deserves. Anyway, just want to say thank you so much for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.